Hey y'all, I'm Carissa and this is my channel, K Threads and Stitches. I apologize it took me a while to come back here. I said last time that I needed to start coming back more often and I think I took about twice as long to come back. But if you're returning, welcome. Um, and if you're uh, here for the first time, welcome as well. I'm excited to show you guys what I have to show today. I have quite a few um, FFOs and of course plenty of whips. Um, I really haven't had a whole lot going on in a I haven't had a whole lot going on <laughs> um, I've just been busy with life and um, doing homework for school going to work and taking care of lady uh, lady was sick recently she had an ear infection so bad that it was affecting her walking and being able to stand um, it scared me a little bit I thought that there was something a little bit more severe wrong with her for a bit she was um, kind of one day walking up against the wall and having a really hard time walking. I did not know that dogs could have ear infections so bad that it would affect the just them walking in general. So um, she has been um, on steroids for probably the last week and a half or so. Um, she's gotten a lot better. She's back to her normal self for the most part. Um, so I'm happy to see that she is doing a lot better. But other than that, um, just been plugging away at school and work, like I said. And um, I'm about two classes away from my master's class, I, or my master's degree. I'm in a class right now. I've got about a couple weeks left. And um, after I finish this class, I'll have two left and I'll be done. Um, so uh, without further ado, I'm not going to waste too much time. i got a lot to show you guys. I don't know how long this video will be. Um, so I'll start with my FFOs. I do have a couple of quilting things that I'm very excited about. Um, but I'll go ahead and get started with my FFOs. Um, let's see. I'll start with uh, some of the patriotic stuff first. As you can see, this is about the extent of my fall decorations. My Halloween stuff is on the other side of that table. I kind of use it to decorate on both sides. But, um... I had posted on Instagram yesterday and there I think there was one or two people that had mentioned um, seeing my fall decoration so it, this is kind of what it is um, I pulled out a lot of stuff that I've had for years um, that I honestly just forgot that I even had in general so um, it was kind of nice to decorate and change up the scenery um, in my living space so um, but anyway so the first FFO that I have, and it's kind of like a half FFO because I didn't have anything to put it on, but I didn't want to finish it as a pillow. Um, I've finished a lot of pillows recently, um, and I kind of miss doing some flat finishes. So um, the first one I have, this is uh, Land of Liberty by Brenda Gervais. Um, this is super cute. I have, I have wanted to do this since I got that pattern. Um, and I stitched this on 28 count linen brown paper um, by XG Design. And this is the finish of it. Now I did show this on my Instagram, but like I said, I don't have it on anything. So when I find something that will fit um, this piece, then I will probably mount it and do a couple other things to it. But I just used some um, Teresa Kogut uh, fabrics from the background from her, um, I, I don't remember, Bright Stars and Stripes or something like that from uh, her recent line. I used most of the called for colors on this. I, I tried my best to keep it the called for colors. If I didn't have something, um, I probably used something else. If you're curious about the colors that I used, um, just take a look at, at uh, the description box below. Um, I'll list all the different colors that I use. It was kind of hard. I started to record myself um, calling off all the colors and then I looked up and I noticed I had the whole thing out of the frame as I was talking. So, um, yeah, I will um, probably edit that. <laughs> uh, but I'll list the colors down below. So, the next finish that I have, um, this is by Primrose cottage stitches um, this is I don't remember what this is called but it's one of their little houses that they uh, recently came out with this is the 4th of July one 
Um, and I saw on the last video that um, Java Girl Stitches did that she finished her pillow, one of her pillows kind of like this. Um, and I decided to try it. So I like how it turned out. Um, I probably would have used a different fabric to stitch it on. I think the fabric in the background, it looks good. It's just a little bit reddish um, on this. So, or either that or just finished it with different fabrics in general. But um, that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, I think I changed a bunch of the colors on this. Uh, I'll have to look and see what I used as the colors for that and tell you um, what it was. So um, just check the description box down below. This is another one by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, these are the flags on the fourth. This is the stars one. I don't know if I showed this one last time. I may have. There was one or two. There was one that I was working on in the last video and I just can't remember which one it was. So. Um, this is the one with the stars on it. They have one with hearts on it and um, I don't know what I stitched it on. Um, if you're curious about the colors, I'll try to list them down below. Might be kind of hard for me to figure out which ones they were just because um, I kind of used a whole bunch of different colors for different pillows. I didn't stick with the same colors for all of them, but um, I'll see if I can figure out which ones are which. That is that one. All right. And then the next one that I have, um, this is another one of the little houses. This is the B one um, that they came out with. I finished this one a while ago. I, I think when they came out with this, I finished it pretty quickly. Um, I stitched this on the 32 count Lugana Clouds and Shadows by XG Design. So um, several of my other bead pieces by them that I've stitched, I just stitched this one on the same one. And then I just added a bow, um, some fabrics from their back quarter bundles and um, a little bead button. I did change a bunch of the colors on that one. Um, That's going to take me too long to figure out what's what. I'll see again if I can just list them down below. Um, if I can't find them, I'm not sure. Sometimes I, this is the problem with me waiting so long to do these videos is because when it comes time for me to tell what uh, fabrics and or uh, flosses that I've used, sometimes I've already put stuff away. Um, and by now I should know better. I need to keep that stuff out. For a couple of these projects that I have, I've kept them out um, and just waited until it's time for me to show it in the video. Uh, but a few of these I, I still <laughs> I haven't got that far yet. Um, but I do have another finish. This is The Witch's Brew by Brenda Gervais. Um, this is what it looks like. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to not have there we go might be a little better um so i don't know if i used all the called for colors on this um brenda gervais patterns tend to have quite a few um i used classic color works magnolia blossom um mold berries uh blushing beauty let's see candied yams perfect pie crust avocado um, mossy Joshua tree and then some weak style works colors that are curry lavender rose pelican gray sandcastle and coal and uh, persimmon um, so and with those colors I stitched this on oh here it is uh, 28 count Lugana um, in the color Frick Park by Steel City. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. It's nice. It, it's a really pretty purple modeled fabric. Um, whoop, about to drop it here. And then my finish of this, I've had the piece that this is on for a while. 
bought this probably like a year or two ago. This is a, a cauldron that was from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, and I never knew what I was going to use this for, but um, I thought that this one fit pretty good. And I kind of put everything on magnets, so all the flowers up here, the bow, and the piece itself are on magnets. So if I ever wanted to remove it, I could remove it super easy um, or just swap it out in general. So the flowers up at the top, I just took some stuff that I had, um, actually probably from these flowers back here, uh, pulled some out, glued them to um, one of the magnets that I use. So I use the name tape magnets for this and um, they're really strong. So they tend to not come off very easy, um, but I just glued some to the magnet and then just through the magnet on top and then for the bow so this is the bow this is some ribbon that I think I got from Joann's a couple years ago um, with a little spider button I don't remember where I got the spider button I've had it for a while um, but I used Nicole Spore's um, bow tutorial that she posted recently to make the bow and it was super simple so I'll probably use this technique a little bit more often I really like the way that it looks it's super cute um, and then this is the piece itself. I really like the way it turned out. Um, I just think it's really cute. So I have this sitting on my stand up tear tray thing um, back here where you can't see it when it's sitting where it's supposed to be. So my next piece is um, by Hands On Design um, and I plan to do the other two of these um, at some point in the near future. I'm just not sure um, when exactly. I'm kind of distracted by one thing to the next every other day. So, um, but this is Hands On Design O Christmas Tree. Um, there are three little ornaments. One says Noel, one says Joy. Uh, and the other one says peace so I have done the one that says joy and I used all the called for colors on this I think I bought a, um, a floss pack um, and I just finished it on this piece that I got from Hobby Lobby I've had this piece for a really long time um, I'm really trying to go through I have a lot of uh, finishing pieces that have nothing on it just for when I'm ready to finish stuff and I'm trying to go through the things that I already have versus buying more stuff. Um, so a lot of this stuff that I have is old. So I do apologize. It, it may or may not still be in the stores. But I did get this one in um, particular from Hobby Lobby. And basically all it is is like a little stand. This is connected to it so it doesn't come off. Um, but the... I don't remember if I got this... In Christmas time or not um, but the number on the back of it is five five eight nine seven eight three um, and I just threw some greenery on it um, some picks that I got from Joanne fabrics a while ago and then a, a some ribbon I think I got the little wreath from Hobby Lobby and then the fabrics are actually from a Fat Quarter bundle from Fat Quarter Shop um, that I used for that. So, I like that a lot. I thought it was super cute. Um, but again, I, I used all the called for colors. So, it, whatever the pattern says is the colors that I used for that one. Alright. So... Um, the next group of things that I have is from Primrose Cottage Stitches, the book that they came out with last year that is called 13 Spooky Smalls. Um, I love this book. There's so many patterns in it and these um, designs don't take very long to stitch. So I've really had fun with um, stitching these and just filling a bowl with these for Halloween stuff. But I had one that I finished last year. Um, if you check out my Instagram, I showed it on my Instagram today. 
and then um, I've finished all of what I have in front of me over the last couple of months. It, I have not done all of these in the last like week or so. Um, and truthfully, I had a few of these done a while ago and I just didn't fully finish them completely. Um, but this is the first one. This is Hocus Pocus. Uh, so I have learned that I do not like doing circle finishes. Um, I think that they're super cute when other people do them, but when I do them, I don't like the way that they turn out. So um, I didn't want to have to make, I wanted to have a, a fabric for the background on this, but I didn't want to cut out another circle. Um, so I had this circle cutting board and it is from Hobby Lobby. I apologize. I have another one over there that has the tag on it with the, um, with the, uh, item number and it's from the spring shop. So I got this probably during, uh, early spring or so. Um, and I was like, I really don't want to cut another circle and have to weave in all the thread in the back and um, try to figure out what fabric I want to use. Uh, I don't know what possessed me to do it, but I decided to take a piece of fabric. I took a fat quarter, pretty much cut it in half and um, kind of folded it up on the back on either side and met up at the top and then twisted the fabric up at the top and then just wrapped it around the, the neck of the little circle cutting board thing that I have here. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't like it without all of the stuff that I have on here, so the bows and stuff, but um, once I was finished with it, I was pretty pleased with it. To me, it kind of looks like... Uh, I apologize, my camera cut out. It said my uh, storage was full when I was talking about that. I don't even remember what I was saying at this point. Um, but this is my finish of this one. So I put some pics on here, a couple of bows. And I have a little cat button. I thought it was super cute to put here. Um, and I put these little things here in the middle because I had actually, this little tiny bow, um, the string bow with the cat button, I had glued it to the piece initially. And then I was like, well, I still don't like it. So um, I ended up pulling it off and you can still kind of see where the glue was on the fabric. So. Um, I kind of needed something to take, take up some space and cover that up. Um, but that is the first finish that I have of that one. Um, this one I did a while ago, probably like a month and a half or so ago. I don't even really remember. Um, my broom runs on coffee. Uh, I'm pretty sure I stitched this on a, um, fabric called lavender this is a it is a linen looks like it might be 28 count um, linen and a lavender like light lavender color by XU design and um, my bag. I used two different color purples um, and then a couple of different greens. Let's see, what is the other one? Okay, so for the lighter purple on this, it is Classic Color Works Aunt Marie's Violet. Um, the darker purple up at the top, that is Mold Berries by Classic Color Works. Um, and I use the color Raven by Gentle Arts for the black. Um, that is my favorite black to use. It is super dark. It has a really pretty green tint to it if you um, can see it up close enough. And then for the greens, I use Gentle Arts Endive and Classic Color Works Avocado. Um, and I really like the way that this turned out. So I use some fabrics. Um, the purple fabric I've had for a while, and then the star fabric I got from one of uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches fat quarter bundles that they had. Um, and I used some Rick Rack from Lady Dot Creates. There's a purple one and a green one. Um, and I was super happy with the way this turned out. I, I like how all the purples kind of contrast against each other and they look really nice. 
so that is that one and the next one that I did I actually just fully finished this one yesterday um, but I've had it stitched for at least a month and a half um, this is Hocus Pocus Broom Company super cute um, I used the mold berries by um, classic color works again and then Raven by Gentle Arts and then I also use Queen Bee by um, Classic Color Works for the broom and Colonial Copper for the broom and Hickory Sticks for the like the broom uh, handle. And then uh, the fabrics that I have on this, they came from one of uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches uh, Fat Quarter Bundles, one of their more recent ones. Um, super cute and then I just use this for the back um, the green Rick rack is from lady dot creates and the button that's on the two buttons actually that are on there um, I had ordered something like some fabric probably a couple years ago and one of the little gifts that came in with the order was a, a bag of buttons like a little tiny bag of buttons that had black buttons orange buttons white buttons and clear buttons um, and I've kind of just been slowly using those throughout the years since I got it. So, um, that's where the buttons are from. Alright, so the next one that I have, this is Wicked Without Coffee. I love this one. It's so cute. I don't know what fabric this is stitched on, um, but I just used Raven again by Gentle Arts. Um, and then Queen Bee by Classic Color Works and Mold Berries by Classic Color Works. And the Rick Rack is from Lady Dot Creates. I got a little crooked there um, on the Rick Rack. So, and the fabric is from one of Primrose Cottage Stitches uh, Fat Quarter Bundles. I don't know if that one was from last year or one of the ones from this year. Okay. And the last one that I have from 13 Spooky Smalls is this one. I finished this one this morning. It looks really busy and a little bit crazy. Um, but this is from the book as well. It's super cute. I used um, Raven by the Gentle Arts. And then, what's that other color called? Uh, Fragrant Cloves by Gentle Arts. Um, that's the orange on there. And then when I was um, sewing this pillow together, I was trying to do um, kind of like how this is, where it kind of goes across and then it starts up here, goes to the top, and then, but somehow <laughs> I accidentally did like this one over here is one long strip. So um, I'm trying to put a bow to kind of break it up a little bit. And then my seam was coming apart um, over here when, um, I was stuffing it. I think what happened was when I was sewing it, my sewing machine kept stopping on me um, and saying to re-thread my machine and I should have gone back over that, that line, but I didn't. Um, <clears throat> so in order to cover that up, I tried to put the white rope around it and then I had a whole bunch of glue everywhere. So I tried to put buttons on it to kind of cover up the bigger glue spots that you could see. Um, but I think it's fine either way. It's just for me. So um, I just use the the little polka dotted um, fabric for the back. So I really love this ghost fabric though. It's so cute. There's a gray one too. I like the gray one a lot. And then I just have a bow with a little witch hat down in the bottom. All right. And then I have one last finish. This is, I'm not even kidding. I think this is my favorite finish for the whole year. Um, I love this. I love this design. I think all the colors just go really well together. I, I don't think I've ever had a pattern that really wanted me to, or had me wanting to stitch a whole bunch of fall stuff, but this one has really kicked it into high gear for me. And I don't think I have a whole lot of fall patterns, but I have a few, so I'll probably um, dig into the ones that I do have but this is Autumn Alphabet by Primrose Cottage Stitches um, this is so cute I did the Christmas one that they came out with last year 
after it came out and um i love that one too i i think i just really like these and i used all of the called for colors except for two colors um, i changed the blackout for raven by gentle arts and then i didn't have chocolate mousse by classic color work so i used straw hat instead um i don't even know what chocolate mousse looks like but i tried to go based off of what it looked like in the picture as best as i could <clears throat> um i showed this on instagram yesterday so if you follow me on instagram you've already seen this um this is the finish and um i don't know what fabric this is that i stitched it on it's by xju design and then the fabrics that i have um i had used um two of the fabrics from primrose cottage stitches um fat quarter bundles and then uh this orange fabric fat or um, bow i got from walmart and then I have this brown ribbon that I've had for a while. And I have these rustic um, little bells. I have a whole bunch of them. Um, and I, I was trying to find something to put on the, on the ribbon, but this seemed to be um, my favorite thing out of all the stuff that I tried. So um, this piece is finished on a piece from I think I got it from Marshalls like a year or two ago. It was before I got to where I'm at now. So um, I pulled out like four or five things yesterday when I went to finish this. Cause I almost thought I didn't have anything that would fit it um, and for it to have looked nice. So um, when I pulled this out, uh, I was like, oh, this is probably the best thing that I have. Um, I don't think you could probably get this piece anymore, but if you can or if you have it, um, this is a Ray Dunn thing. Oh, actually, it's from TJ Maxx. Excuse me. I thought it was Marshall's. Um, but it was $10, and it looks like a cutting board, but it's not actually a cutting board. Um, and it had a Easter theme thing in the middle, something about carrots or something. Um, and it was the best piece that I had for fitting that particular because I always put my uh, my flat pieces together first and then I'll find whatever it fits on and if I like the way it looks then I'll um, fully finish it with that piece so um, that is all of the FFOs that I currently have I do have quite a few whips um, so I'll go ahead and get started into that um, with some progress that I've made on some things. Some stuff will be put away till next year. Some stuff I'll keep working on. <clears throat> um, but the first thing that I have is this is Christmas Rules. This is by Lizzie Kate. Um, I've been working on this for a while. And something that I think I noticed um, after my last video, because somebody asked me what colors I was using and um i don't know that i ever talked about this if i did i apologize for telling you again but um this is basically what uh christmas rules looks like on the back here and you, as you can tell if you can see it there's some blue and some pink in here um and it's really pretty uh but i wanted to do like white green and red uh for mine and basically what I did is I took two different types of reds, two different types of green, and then um, a white with some other various colors. There might be some, um, like a goldish looking color or browns um, that I picked out. But for the most part, it's green, red, and white. And I've been alternating um, a red and green pair that I'm using with another red and green pair that's different from the first one. Um, and I'm stitching this on 28 count Mushroom Lugana. So this is the top here. Um, and I've stitched, I think since my last video, I've stitched a couple more of these. Um, and I really love this. It's so cute. These actually stitch up so fast. These, just like um, when you stitch one, you probably get it done in a few hours if you had a few hours to sit down and um, 
stitch it because it's mostly words and then like one or two little motifs and maybe a border or something. It really doesn't take very long. Um, but there are one, two, three, four, five. There's six um, pairs in total, so 12 lines plus your top border that you get for free um, if you download it. So um, I hope to finish that this year. I think I can finish it. I'm almost halfway there, I think. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be excited to finish that. I think I might have something that that'll fit on. I hope I don't get to it and then I, I don't have something that, are, that it will fit on. Um, the next thing that I have, this is um, Jingle Bell Cafe by Stitching with the Housewives. I don't remember if I showed this last time or not. Um, like I don't remember if I made all this progress since my last video. If it's the same, I'm sorry. Um, but I basically have added both of the Santas. Oh, I think I did talk about this because now I remember talking about the Smyrna stitches and his beard because those are my favorite. Um, but I, I haven't done anything different than from my last video, I don't think. I also hope to finish this one this year. So once it gets closer to Christmas, um, I'll probably bring this out and then finish it completely. Um, so the next thing that I have, I... I think I bought the set of the Big City Christmas um, series by Country Cottage Needleworks. I was not part of the um, Fat Quarter Shops monthly subscription because I know they had a subscription for that. Um, but I bought the set and then I bought the um, floss kit that came with all the called for colors. So I'm not using anything different than what the called for is. But I did. Um, barely start one of these and I plan on stitching this on one long piece um, and it's on 28 count mushroom Lugana and this is just the start that I have on the first house I don't even remember which one this is Um, this is the department store. So this is the one that I'm currently doing. I don't think I'll finish this this year, honestly. I, I'm starting to learn about myself that when I start larger projects, it takes me um, a long time to get them done. Uh, mostly because I have other things that I want to stitch on and I don't want to dedicate all of my time to one large project. However, I used to be more of a monogamous stitcher up until probably about a year ago. Um, and now I just enjoy stitching whatever, whenever. I will start something new just because I feel like it um, when, when I'm ready to do that. I don't hold myself back from stitching things. Stitching uh, really kind of helps um, with me unwinding and relaxing and um, just keeps me happy pretty much uh, so I just stitch whatever whenever pretty much um, my next uh, whip is welcome to the North Pole by Primrose Cottage Stitches this is a sow that they have going on right now I'm super behind I'm not even gonna lie um, I'm stitching this on the called for with all of the called for colors and this is all that I have y'all um, I do have some progress since my last video, but I I don't have much progress. I should be much further along than I am, but I've gotten so distracted with so many other things, and um, that's all the progress that I currently have. However, I do love this piece, and um, I've kind of, when I go places, if I have doctor's appointments or um, I have to take lady to the vet, because that's happened a couple of times recently. Um, I'll bring that with me. And that's usually the project that I work on. To kind of fill in and get some progress going. <clears throat> so. Um, my next whip. 
is from Little House Needleworks. This is a patriotic piece. This is called Brave Hearts. I really love this piece. I'm using all of the Call for Belle Suave colors for this. Um, if you've never worked with silk floss, it is expensive, but you should try it. Uh, because I, I think that it's, um, it's just really nice to work with. It's really smooth and um, it's really pretty as well. <clears throat> so I didn't get this finished this year. I'd hoped to finish it. And this is, um, what fabric is this on? This is on uh, the color Water Lily and it's on a 28 count Jogli by Witchell. And this is the progress. I'm trying to get it to show here. This is the progress that I've made. So I think prior to this video, um, last time I might have had the house was not filled in. I didn't have all the words in there. Um, I don't even think I had the flag done or the birds. So I've, I've really made some really good progress on this. Um, and I think when I pick it up again next year, because I, I probably won't work on this anymore this year. When I pick it up again next year, I think I will finish it. Um, but we'll have to see. You never know. I'll probably get distracted by a whole bunch of other stuff <laughs> by the time next year comes around. Um, so for this whip here, this is Winter Rose Banner by Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread. I have had this for a long time and I always wanted to um, start it, but I didn't know what fabric to use and it has a lot of uh, flosses that it needs and I don't even think I have all of the flosses because I don't have, um, I have a lot of floss and I'm trying to use what I have instead of buying more. Um, and usually when I buy floss, um, I will buy multiples of the same color even if I don't need more than that color so that I have more for later just in case. Um, I usually buy three to four skeins of that floss. Um, just when I buy a color or whatever, just to kind of stock up a little bit and have some on hand. But again, I have a lot, so try to use what I have versus buying more. Um, this is what I have so far on this project. I really love this. I think for the most part, the colors that I'm using so far are the called for colors. Um, I don't know what the color of this fabric is. I can tell you it is a Lugana um, and it is a 28 count and it's by Extrude Design. I just don't know the name of the color. Um, I hope to finish this within the next couple of years. I think this is really pretty. I think this will also probably be the first piece that I frame um, <clears throat> if I get this one done first, but um, I don't, I've never framed any cross stitch pieces. That'll have to be also be a time when I can afford to get it framed. Um, okay, so the next one that I have, this is another start that I've had since the last video. This is Mr. Marshmallow by Brenda Gervais. Um, we're nowhere near winter, but I don't know. I just really wanted to stitch this. So I'm stitching this on uh, this is 28 count Lugana. Um, in the color Cypress by Fiber on a Wind. I bought this fabric a while ago. Um, I've had it for a good long while, but um, this is the progress that I have so far. I don't think I'm using all of the, well, maybe I am. I don't know. I think I've used as many of the called for colors that I, that I can out of this, but there may be a couple of differences. <clears throat> but he's super cute. Um, I think I've wanted to stitch this for a couple of years, but um, I just hadn't got around to it. So I pulled this out one day and I sat down and that's the progress that I made for that sitting. <clears throat> so I have at least plenty of fill-in that I can do one day if I 
ever need a project to take and um, not have to worry about counting. All right, so the next project that I have, this is, and I did not finish this. I don't think I will finish this this year. This is Seaside Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. So cute. <clears throat> I'm usually not a beachy person, um, like in terms of stitching, but I really like this pattern. It's so cute. I mean, I like the little small one that goes with it as well. Um, and I'm stitching this on 32 count Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit. Uh, this is a linen. Uh, I thought that this fabric just fit it really well. I don't know if I showed this in my last video or not, but this is the progress that I have so far. I don't have a lot of progress, but it is super cute. And I thought um, the brown looking splotchy colors of this fabric just went well with um, this design. So I like it a lot. I'm going to stitch it into one piece and then I plan to finish it as a drone. Um, like the uh, Honey Bee um, Tiny Town that she came out with. I did that one and I finished it in a drum. And I used Fauna Pfeiffer's um, YouTube tutorial. So if you're looking for a good YouTube tutorial to um, use to learn how to make a drum. Her tutorial is super easy to understand and follow. Um, just take your time and it, I think that it'll come out really good. Okay, so the next one that I started, this is Hilda Boo and Sunflowers 2. This is also by Brenda Gervais. I've had this for a while again. Um, I really love it. I think it's cute. I would like to get this one done this year <clears throat> to display it. And since it is early September, I think that that is possible. I don't have a lot done on this, but um, I have a little bit of progress. It might be kind of hard to see in this video. So I'm stitching this on 32 count linen um, in the color Stately by Fortnite. And that up at the top is all of the progress that I have. This fabric is very variegated, as you can tell. Um, I think I've tried to use as many of the called for colors as I can. If I had to sub something out, um, I did. Again, to um, keep from buying more floss. But uh, I really love that piece. It's really cute. Um, my next one is uh, one of the monthly weigh-ins by um, stitching with the housewives. This is also one of my new project bags. I got one of these recently. I can't buy these real often right now, but um, these are so cute. This is from Pam's Needle and Thread. If you've watched other videos of mine, uh, I've talked about her project bags. She's on Etsy. If you have not checked out her bags, you should. Um, excellent quality of fabrics, stitching, um, like for sewing the bags together, vinyl and everything. Um, and I always just love her stuff. They're so nice. And I love the size of the bags because they're a little bit bigger than um, some of the other bags that I have. So if I have like booklets and stuff like that, usually the books will fit in, in the project bag. So, um, but this is the pattern that I got. Um, this is from the Fat Quarter Shop, as you can tell, is where I got it from. And it came with all of the call for floss. Um, that's my mess of floss back there. I like the monthly weigh-in. I also did the, um, whatever their last one was, that was each month. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I haven't stitched any of them yet, but I hope to at some point. But this October one. I liked it a lot, so I wanted to go ahead and start it. Um, I'm stitching this on 28 count linen um, in the color Desert Sand by x Design. This is the progress that I made so far on it. And um, I had a lot of this. I wanted to pick a fabric that 
I could probably use for every month that they come out with um, and for the fabric to match but I had to make sure I picked one that I had enough of and this I definitely had enough of um, I think this might be a full yard here and then I have another piece of the same color I had actually bought this color for um, can't remember what it's called but it's one of the hands-on design it's the one of the monthly series that they have one of the new ones they have an older one and then they came out with a new one um, and I bought it for that and I bought way too much of it so I have one large piece that I'm using for that and then I had two others um, but yeah I just uh, had enough of that to um, be able to use it for that series so I'll probably end up using that okay so for the next one that I have this is by hello from Liz Matthews this was in I think this actually came out recently um, I've, I've seen a lot of people on floss who talking about it and stitching it um, I don't remember the name of it I had found it in the um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine, so I'm subscribed to their online thing. Um, and this is the one that says Boo with the two cats and the crow. Um, I'm stitching, the, I have not finished this. If you watched my last video, you know what this is for. Um, I don't remember what this fabric is. But I had wanted to finish this in a month and here I've got distracted by so many things but I did make some progress on it since my last video all right and the next thing that I have this is Halloween tiny town by heart and hand super cute um, I had actually started this last year and I put it down because I had I had ordered um, the sweet potato color in the wrong um, from the wrong uh, floss company like I can't remember whatever the one that is called for I used either classic color works or something else that was the wrong color and I noticed it when I was stitching one of the houses so I was gonna have to rip the house out order the new um, the correct color and all this other stuff um, so when I started it last year I didn't finish it of course and now I'm ready to finish this I hope I finish this this year so I can finish it in a drum um, but this is the progress that I've made it is on a linen it is from uh, the fabric is from X2 design though I don't remember what this color is and I don't have a tag in here that tells me what the color is the um, tiny town strips, they really don't take very long, um, but of course I've got a lot of other things. So I am, again, hoping to finish that this year. Okay, so this is going to be my last whip. Um, I've got a couple of, um, well I guess I have two whips. But they're on the same piece of fabric so i wanted to use this color but i don't know what this color is again this actually looks like the same color as that one but i don't know what it is um so the first thing that i started on this it, if you may have seen this i think this came out recently this is um when pumpkins glow by brenda gervais this is the pattern. So cute. Um, so I started stitching this. Oh, maybe it's not on this one. Okay. I got a piece of floss here that's kind of taking up everything. Um, this is where I'm at with it. So I have a little bit of the pumpkin, um, one of the pumpkin people, and a couple of the words there. I really love this it's so cute um, again using the called for colors as best as I can um, and where I sub things out I just 
sub it with something that I have here. Um, she did have a couple of other patterns come out with that one. Um, I haven't started these, but I kind of hope to do these this year. This is Autumn Splendor. Really cute. Um, and then I, I am hoping to really get these done uh, when witches go riding. There's three little pillows in there, little pillow finishes. And I would finish these as pillows as well. Um, but those are super cute. All right. In my last whip, this is Pumpkin Spice Farm by Hands On Design. I was watching um, Nicole Spore's uh, floss tube video a couple weeks ago, week, week or two ago, something like that. And I think she had stitched this, and I really liked hers. Hers is beautiful. Um, so I decided to start it as well. I already had the pattern. Um, I bought it probably like a year or more ago. Um, I just have that top border there that I did. And I did take the blue out. Um, it has a blue color in it. I like the blue, but I think with some of the, I had to sub out some of the other colors because I just didn't have them. Um, and I, with what I had picked, it, the blue really didn't look good with it. So um, I just used the orange that's in the rest of the pattern um, for those little, where the blue is. Um, but okay, so I do have a couple of quilting things, but I did, I, when I was talking a little bit ago, I remembered something. I think there was a couple of people in my last video that, um, sorry, that had asked me about my floss storage. Um, my last video, I had a couple of, um, like, uh. I forget what they're called. They're like little rotating things where I have all my floss hanging from them. I have a couple of different um, storage methods. And by storage, I mean most of it's hanging up uh, because it makes it easy for me to find. It makes it easy for me to see um, and kind of scan through, especially when I'm looking for things that I don't have a called for color for, but I can just look at what I have um, those rotating things I got those on Amazon I cannot remember what they're called um, but basically I have all of my classic color works colors that I have um, multiples of on those I have two of them and it they don't fill up both of them but it fits it filled up probably about one and a half and um, I always, by designer, by floss designer, I will separate them by floss designer and then um, organize it alphabet alphabetically. That makes it easiest for me to find in particular. Um, I know a lot of people love doing it by color. I think for me personally, uh, separating it by color would make it more difficult for me to find what I'm looking for. So I like to do it alphabetically for right now. Um, I also have pegboards that I had at my house um, where I was living previously. They were hanging up on the wall. I don't have them hanging up on the wall now because I don't want to put more holes in the walls where I currently live than I have to. Um, but I do still have those pegboards and I had some um, whatever those things go that you can hang stuff on them. So I have my Gentle Arts and my Weeks Dye Works on those. Um, and that's, those are my two main methods. I do have some other flosses and stuff that are not organized um, alphabetically. They're just kind of put in different places. I have Victorian Motto threads. I have now um, color and cotton threads, but I don't have enough of either of those to kind of do that with. So those I do store by color. Um, I don't have a... I don't think I have really any patterns that call for Victoria Motto, but I love using their flosses. Their floss um, pieces, like, <clears throat> my goodness, their floss gains come with a lot of floss. Uh, but for color and cotton in particular, um, I've just within the last couple of months been part of their monthly subscription for the all colors. So I don't really have enough of those. I kind of just have them hanging on their own um, 
little hanger thing on one of the pegboards. So if you were wondering about my floss storage, that's how I do mine. Um, it makes it easiest for me to be able to look at everything and see what I have. So, um, but yeah. Uh, the last thing that I have to show are uh, two quilt pieces that I finished the quilt tops for. I'm so excited about these. Um, and it's kind of set me on a frenzy with um, finishing quilt tops, I guess. Um, I can't really send them off yet. I have to wait probably a while. I don't know if I'll get these sent off. Um, I did have a couple of people from my last video offer to... Um, uh, quilt the tops for me so I appreciate y'all um, for those of y'all who offered that and reached out to me but I finished the um, 2021 I think bats and boos from uh, fat quarter shop I started this when that uh, stitch along or quilt along came out and I just finished it this year and I'm so excited I love how it turned out um, I had all the pieces ready to go. I needed to finish um, the center block down here and then I had to redo one of the back blocks because I was trying to um, follow Kimberly's lead in one of her videos and I, by cutting like all of the stray things around the block and I cut it too small. So um, I had to redo one of them but overall this came out pretty good. I probably can't even get this all in here but I love this. I think it is so cute. And I, I can't tell you how many times I had to unstitch that bottom row. As you can see, the bats are upside down um, and I kept stitching them right side up. So I had to pick that out a couple of times um, to get that one right. But I, I hope one day I'll be able to um, get that quilted. Um, I love it, it is so cute. And then from the quilt along this year, um, I finished, I don't remember what this one's called, but I finished the one from this year from Fat Quarter Shop. And I was a little bit behind on the quilt along, so this is what it looks like. And I had gotten the kit from Fat Quarter Shop, but um, I one day I just got got the bug for I guess sewing and I sat down and quilted this whole thing I, I think I only had the um so I had these these little star blocks done like the two down there and the three up here and then I had this block with the um, bat and the moon done but I hadn't done the haunted house or the cat um and I didn't have anything sewn together of course like to be the full piece and then one night I just um, on one weekend night I sat down and sewed the whole thing together so um, since then I have starched all of my quilt kits that I have ordered previously because um, I have not purchased any other ones and um, so those are ready to go. I just need to cut them apart and get them ready to um, sew together so I can make the quilt tops for those. But that is all that I have today for my video. Um, again, I apologize for taking so long to come back. Sometimes time gets away from me. This is one of those times where the time just got away from me. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.